But first, student protesters disrupt a meeting between UC Davis Chancellor Linda Katehi and student government leaders amid calls for her resignation. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins has more now on why the students tried to shut down that meeting. Angry students refusing to stay quiet hey as Chancellor Linda Katehi meets with student leaders behind closed doors. What does Katehi have to do in order to have you all leave from Rec Hall? She has to resign. And after 20 days of camping out in front of Katehi's office, at this point, staying was our duty uh, to continue this fight. The students say they're not backing down. And we're hoping to engage in a meaningful dialogue between all parties. Student body president Alex Lee says he invited two student protesters to attend the meeting. But when we arrived, more than two of them had shown up. At least 15 students beating on doors. Oh, this is Demanding that Katehi let them in. If we don't get it, shut it down. Lee and student senator Georgia Savage came out of the meeting with a message from Katehi. Yeah, she would like to speak with you all uh, and, and would allow And we would like to speak with her on Friday at noon. But the protesters declined the invitation. Having only two of us go in there was just a chance for them to isolate two of us and to leave the rest of out their group. The meeting eventually shut down. Now protesters look to Friday and hope Katehi will meet them on their terms. I don't think that um, any real progress will be made until she is um, kicked out. Now, the student protesters have set up a press conference for this Friday at noon. They hope that Katehi will attend, but I just got off the phone with the chancellor's office, and they say it is unlikely that she will be there. The students were only in there for about 13 minutes before the protesters shut down that meeting. This has been going on for so many weeks now. All right, things are starting to escalate. Macy Jenkins, live for us tonight at UC Davis. Thanks.